Updated two hours ago amid the outcry over children of illegal immigrants being separated from their families at the border, Fox News' Maura Ingram had an interesting take on where those children are being placed. Since more illegal immigrants are rushing the border, more kids are being separated from their parents, Ingram said on her show Monday night. And temporarily housed at what are, essentially, summer camps, Laura Ingram describes the detention facilities where children are sent after being forcibly separated from their parents as, essentially summer camps, picked out twitter.com slash k6o3lbs6q, Judd Legum, at Juddle Gum, June 19, 2018 Ingram also mentioned a San Diego Union Tribune story that referenced Casa San Diego, a facility for unaccompanied children who arrived at the southern border. The Union Tribune described them as looking like basically boarding schools, Ingram said. In that story, the paper describes classrooms, a play area with soccer goals and a medical clinic with comic book characters. Officials at the facility say about 10% of the children there were separated and the rest arrived unaccompanied. The children are permitted to make two 10-minute phone calls per week. The Department of Health and Human Services Administration for Children and Families says the average child spends 56 days in these facilities, about 100 of them in 17 states, before reuniting with their sponsor. Ingram addressed the backlash over her comments at the conclusion of her show Monday night. Apparently there are a lot of people very upset because we referred to some of the detention facilities tonight as essentially like summer camps, Ingram said. The San Diego Union Tribune today described the facilities as essentially like what you would expect at a boarding school. So, I will stick to there are some of them like boarding schools. And I suggest that a lot of the folks who are worried about that spend more time in Central America. I have. And we should make adoption easier for American couples who want to adopt these kids who are true candidates for adoption because our policies don't allow that. So let's put our hearts out there for the kids in the right way. Take care of them the right way. Open your hearts and your homes to them. The fight over separating children families from their families has intensified. Over the weekend, Democrats were urging a change of policy and hoping to gain political advantage five months before midterm elections. The separations largely are the result of a zero-tolerance policy announced by Attorney General Jeff Sessions.